India's card payments market is set to grow by 23.6% to reach rupees 26.9 trillion that is 361.6 billion dollars in 2023 driven by rising consumer spending into various mode of payments including point of sale that is of card payments digital wallet cash online sale that is card payments digital wallet and by end user industries that is retail entertainment healthcare hospitality hello and welcome to var india news r the primary factor driving the growth of the market in the region is the rising adoption of digital payments supported by government initiatives and strong growth in e-commerce among others As per global data, card payments value in India registered a strong growth of 26.7% in 2022, supported by improving economic conditions. This trend is expected to continue in 2023, and India's card payments market is set to grow at a CAGR of 18.7% between 2022 and 2026 to reach rupees 43.3 trillion, that is 581.1 billion dollars in 2026. Experts say that India, which is primarily a cash-driven economy, made robust progress in the adoption and usage of card payments supported by consumers' increasing preference for electronic payments, improvement in payment infrastructure and constant efforts by financial authorities to increase financial inclusion and boost cashless payments. The introduction of low-cost banking services under Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana program, the appointment of banking correspondents to serve remote population, the launch of payments banks and the reduction of merchant fees on card-based payments are some of the initiatives from government and the central bank that led to rise in card payments in the past few years. The post-pandemic recovery in card payments is mainly driven by credit and charge cards, with which card category growing by 39.2% in 2022 as consumer spending increased on travel, accommodation, restaurants and transportation. Regular benefits such as loyalty programs, discounts and availability of installment facilities are also aiding to the rise in credit and charge card usage. The card payments market, however, is witnessing some hiccups due to the rising inflation rate as the country's central bank is on an interest rate hike path to control inflation. The repo rate was increased in phases to 6.50% in February 2023 from 4.40% in May 2022, making credit costlier for consumers. The card payments in India have been driven by a strong revival in the economy, the opening up of businesses and a post-pandemic rise in consumer spending. Although inflation and rising interest rates pose some challenges in the short run, they are unlikely to disrupt the overall growth trajectory of India's card payments market. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. Bharat Electronics opens new software development center in Vishakhapatnam. Navratna Defence PSU, Bharat Electronics Limited, has opened its new software development centre in Vishakhapatnam to offer software as a service for various applications in the domains of both defence and non-defence. Vinay Kumar Katyal, Director, Bengaluru Complex, recently inaugurated the SDC Vishakhapatnam, which will be an extension of BEL's Software Strategic Business Unit at Bengaluru Complex. The software division of BEL has successfully implemented many projects of national importance in the fields of defence, aerospace, e-governance, homeland security, etc. over the last many decades. ABB announces an investment of Rs 1,000 crores in India for next five years. Electrification and automation company ABB India has announced an investment of Rs 1,000 crores in the country over the next five years for manufacturing. The company opened a new factory in Nasik and will invest the funds to increase capacity across the country. According to the company's country head and managing director Sanjeev Sharma, ABB India plans to invest Rs 1,000 crores in capacity expansion over the next five years. A statement said that its new 78,000 square foot facility would help double gas insulated switch gear production capacity. Sonata Software to acquire US-based Quant Systems Sonata Software has agreed to acquire Texas-based IT services company Quant Systems Inc. The North America arm of the company will make an upfront cash payment of $65 million and up to $95 million over the next two years. There will be additional payments on achievement of the specified targets. 
the move is in line with Sonata Software's plans to strengthen its capabilities in enterprise data analytics, cloud modernization, cybersecurity, Salesforce, data privacy, Adobe, and digital and mobile app solutions, as well as differentiated IPs for Salesforce and chatbot technologies. Apple working on a no-brick glucose tracking feature on its smartphone. According to reports, Apple has been working behind the scenes and is one step closer to incorporating a no-brick glucose tracking feature in its smartphone. The project, which has been dubbed E5, can be an absolute game-changer in the health sector. As the Apple Watch can already monitor its users' oxygen levels and heart rate, the tech giant has been working on a project that will let it monitor the blood sugar levels as well. Sunil Mittal seeks to fold Airtel Payments Bank into Paytm Payments Bank. Telecommunications tycoon and Bharti Airtel chairman Sunil Mittal is seeking a stake in Paytm by merging his financial services unit into the fintech giant's payments bank. Sunil Mittal seeks to fold Airtel Payments Bank into Paytm Payments Bank in a stocks deal and is also seeking to buy Paytm shares from other holders. Talks are in early stages and it is hard to say whether Airtel and Paytm will reach a deal. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.